What is up YouTube? It is Ricky Bobber. Welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be doing a gear review. I'm going to review all the stuff that I use for my everyday riding. Got my gloves, my helmet, my jacket, my riding pants, and uh, my Senna. So here we go. I'm going to give a shout out to Riding Humboldt County. He's a fellow YouTuber. He used to be from San Diego. He's up in Humboldt now. And uh, I asked him, hey, is there any route that you want me to check on any one of my videos? So he asked me to go this way. It's Claremont Mesa Boulevard, down to Balboa, down to uh, down to the beach area. So it's actually pretty close to where I work. So I'm going to take the long way home today. Okay, so one of the first things I wanted to review here is my gloves. So these gloves are made by Odin Manufacturing. And uh, I do like the magnets on them. They, they stick to the, uh, to the tank. Um, and the quality of the material is good and um, a couple of things that I noticed uh, one thing I noticed right away when I put them on is I did notice that when I curled my hands there was a little bit of a wrinkle that would sit in the palm of my hand not a big deal it ended up getting softer over time and I don't even notice it anymore but I did notice that over some of the other gloves that I have um, another thing too that I don't like about it now is that I've only had them for maybe Mm, let's say like six months or so or, or let's say like 2,000 miles I've been riding with them um, and the velcro on these does not want to stay in place on this left one now you might even be able to catch it on this ride that the velcro will come undone sometimes when it just uh, comes undone I just leave it because it's, it's better than just fighting with it a bunch of times but, and I will also say that there is no foreign debris in there there's no fuzz balls or dust bunnies or anything like that keeping it from getting stuck together um, it's, com it's completely free of debris, so I'm not really sure. It's just got, it's just got soft over time and stopped sticking to itself. The uh, second thing I wanted to review, um, let's do my Live Fast jacket. They used to be Fast Mask, and uh, I think it's now Live Fast. And I asked a couple friends at a group chat, you know, if anyone has a jacket that they recommend. And um, my buddy Chase, aka Whiskey Chaser, uh, recommended his jacket which is the uh, this one here and uh, he actually has uh, like a promo deal with them he is I don't I don't know if you could say sponsored but uh, he has a discount code so if you want to purchase one of these uh, use the code whiskey now the jacket is good I like it um, it works well in the whole spectrum of temperatures that I ride in which is anywhere from like 40 degrees to 90 degrees and sometimes it's 40 in the morning sometimes like right now I think it's probably like 80 85 <laughs> dog goes. Um, but it, it works well on both it's not too hot when it's warm like this and it's not too cold in the morning it does a pretty good job of blocking the wind um, I just I don't know if they're glo I don't haven't tried the live fast gloves I do know they make gloves but I wish that they had gloves made out of this material with like the knuckle pads and stuff because this stuff blocks the wind really well um, I do recommend it um, the only if I only had one downside is that I, the, it, it does have a hood and the collar sticks up a little bit so when I'm wearing layers let's say I'm wearing like a sweatshirt and my jacket and a backpack it does become a little challenging to turn my head because of the little flap but um, I don't know they may not happen with everyone but other, I, so I give it like a 4.9 because of that. But it's it's pretty good, and it's very inexpensive too. It's relatively inexpensive compared to other um, riding jackets. Oh, and I didn't mention it yet, but they also have pads: uh, shoulder pads, a back pad, and elbow pads built in. So that's a bonus. I do believe it's Kevlar lined as well. So that's a plus. I do recommend the Live Fast jacket third thing I wanted to review is um, my riding pants now I only have one pair of riding pants um, because they are so expensive um, I do have these pair of uh, first men I'm not wearing them right now actually um, you know laundry day so I do have my riding pants that I do like I do recommend them to their first MFG riding pants they are Kevlar lined they do have pockets for the padding um, you don't have to necessarily wear the padding um, I take them out because I, I ride to work and then I just start working so I don't have the pads in but if you're I was gonna do like um, like a long ride or something like that you can just pop them right in 
So those are cool. Um, there's nothing really fancy or tacky about them. Um, but they're just plain old jeans. Um, so I know some riding jeans have these weird old designs on them and uh, just a little bit too much, but I do like how they're just really plain and simple and just look like regular old jeans. So I do recommend those. Link in the description. Okay, so the fourth thing I wanted to review is actually my helmet. So I've had this helmet actually over a year. I've had the helmet since before I had the bike. Um, I ordered it online. I ordered it on Amazon. I did my research and um, I kind of looked for something that wasn't too expensive and also looked cool. So I landed on the Biltwell Lane Splitter. When I ordered it, I made sure to do the measurements just like they recommended. I got the size they recommended. And when I got it, put it on and the cheek pads were way, way, way tight. So they were so tight that I was basically like talking like fish lips. I don't know if, you, I don't know what movie it is, but there's a, an 80s movie where the mom is like squeezing the kid's face and she's like, Christmas. 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 <laughs> yeah. And like, I was wearing it like that for a while and I would wake up with seriously with a really sore jaw. And I couldn't figure that out for a while until until I looked into it a little bit more. And then I think somebody else might have even been a whiskey chaser again. I think he might have said to uh, go a couple sizes down. So I called them up. Um, I did get two sizes down. And it seemed to be fine. But I did have to pay extra for it. So another thing that was kind of a... Like a, uh, if we're talking pros and cons. Another thing that's a con about this is... Um, the visor doesn't stay down all the time. So I've ha I have two visors. I have the one that came with it, and then I also have the uh, smoked lens visor that I bought as an add-on. Um, the first one I bought was the first edition. Like they have since up. Oh, look, okay. There's my uh, there's my glove strap. Came undone. So the um, the first visor I got was their first edition, which hadn't been updated yet. And then I bought the smoked lens. And it came with the um, attachment for their updated thing. Now the first one used to just slowly creep down. You, you would put it up in the air as high as it goes and it would eventually just fall right down. Kind of like a door closing. Um, so they improved that by adding some notches so it's more clickable. Now this one does stay up however when you go all the way down, there's a little bit, like an eighth of an inch of a gap that always wants to come back. And even if I go and tighten it again, I'll like put it in where I want to go, tighten it down, it ends up like being like that again with a little bit of a gap at the bottom. Um, so not my, not, I wouldn't say it's a perfect helmet. Um, it does look cool. It is in a good price range. Uh, I would get it again if I didn't have more enough money to get. Um, if I didn't have enough money to get uh, like a better one, um, but because now it does come with the updated visor, like just attachment, um, and I would just go ahead and do the, I guess do the smaller pads, but just know that you may have to get a size down on your, your pads, but do you end up, you do end up spending more money on that. So I think I probably spent probably like another 150 bucks or so making this better which ended up being about $400 because the helmet itself was $250 to start with. Um, so, I don't know. Make your own decision on that. I'm not going to say whether I recommend it or not, but make your own choice on that. If that's if it works for you, it works for you. Um, and then, I also wanted to review one last thing, and it's my Senna. I have the Evo 20. And... Um, Okay, I will say that I've only used it a couple times. I swear, I, I thought everybody ha had Senna's. I've been, watched YouTube and everybody I watch has Senna's. And then I start to ride with people here in San Diego and everybody has Cardos here. So I have technically have not even uh, set, um, like synced mine up with anyone else's that has a, um, that has a Senna. But I have made phone calls on it um, and it does, I will say it does sound like caca. It does not sound clear at all. They sell the upgraded um, like HD speakers for these, but I don't think it's cool that you have to do that. You 
know, I paid 200 and something bucks for this, and this, the speakers are kind of garbage. So, I'm not really sure if I uh, recommend the Saint, the Evo, Evo 20. And the thing is, people recommended it to me, so I don't know why people recommended it to me, but... Other, like, I have friends that are out of town, that don't live here, that have Senna's, but I swear, everyone I ride with here in San Diego has, has um, Cardo's, so far. Okay, so I thought I was going to end it there, but I'm going to do one last thing, not really a motorcycle product, but I have these, oh, speaking of Vans, that's crazy. Um, I do recommend these Vans that I have, they are, um, they're not for motorcycling, like I said, they are, skate, they're like, it says they're inspired by the snowboarding boot. Um, there's a certain name for them. They're not the regular ones. They are a little bit more expensive, uh, but they do have a leather toe, which is good for shifting. And um, they're, they're, uh, there's extra padding. So I ride to work and I work in them all day. So they're easy on my feet. Um, I have worn the other ones before to work and I was dying in those, like the regular, just, you know, basic vans. Uh, these have uh, better support and uh, they hold up a little bit better they're supposed to be w uh, waterproof or weatherproof as well um, although i have ridden with these in the rain and i have dunked my feet in some puddles and that didn't really help but uh, if you're getting rained on then they are they think they'd be okay you just can't go sticking your foot in them like a pool of water or something because it's going to find its way in but i do recommend them uh, i'll put the link i can't remember exactly what they're called but i'm gonna put it up on the screen right here Alright you guys, thank you for watching. I've been Ricky Bobber. If you like this content, please consider subscribing if you're not already. And uh, give that video some thumb love. It tells the uh, wizard of algorithms that uh, people are liking this stuff and uh, helps me out a bunch. So, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching and uh, ride safe. Catch you on the next one. Later.